My name is David Barrow, I'm the lead organiser at Sydney Alliance. Today is an action where we are trying to get a reaction from government. We've brought together a diverse group of young people from all walks of life, from all across Sydney, to raise government awareness on how ridiculous it's come to buy or even to rent a home in Sydney. We are not a group of angry young people today. We are actually representing a whole generation of people. I think it really is a government responsibility, but I think all of us together have a great responsibility to support them. Today is about stepping that up. We're here today asking the government for a spare room to rent, because that might be a good short-term solution. Our brothers in the streets and sisters in the streets and all that. The, this, the rough sleepers. Yeah, the rough sleepers. This, and, this, and, this could become that, but it hasn't become that yet. See, housing is one of the biggest issues for young people nowadays, not being able to afford living in the city where they work or where they study. It's a huge issue. We need a little bit of regulation on, on housing because it's just a free fall at the moment and it's all focused on investor wealth, you know, but not everyone can afford to play the game. Over the last five to six days, we've been um, building up momentum around the issue of affordable housing. But now this generation has find it almost impossible to even contemplate that in any way. I'm actually uh, just recently married yeah. and you know uh, we are staying with our in-laws. What's your current situation? Are you renting? Or? Yeah, so yeah. we're renting. Yeah. Um, I um, work part-time, uh, have been <laughs> since Jonah was born. Jonah's 18 months old. Yeah. Um, my husband uh, has just finished his master's and has been looking for work for about three months. So. Yeah. Um, it's really hard. We, um, we're borrowing money off family because we can't pay our rent and pay for groceries at the same time. I'm caught in that rental trap where the rent is so high that I can't afford to save the deposit in order to even apply for the mortgage. The first thing that's going to happen is we're going to walk together, not as a march, just together up to the Supreme Court and that is where we're going to unfurl our banners. We will then march down uh, Macquarie Street. When we arrive at Parliament House, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to unload the truck. We do have a crisis. I think we're very conscious of the homeless we see around our streets, but I think so many people, just average Joe Blow, and this is Joe Blow, all those average people out there who really, who are, bat who are under so much pressure. I'm a 54-year-old uh, living in Kingsford. I'm a renter because I can't afford to buy. The dream of buying my own home is gone. I worry for our kids, some of whom have been here today, they'll have no chance of being able to get their own home. The government so far hasn't put forward any new solutions. They keep rehashing the same old ideas uh, and they simply say that supply is the issue. We believe supply is, is not the issue. We need to address uh, the lack of affordable housing. So a plan for more homes is not a plan for affordable housing and that's what young people need, that's what working professionals doing it tough needs, that's what people with, with families need and that's where, uh, what parents need who worry about how their children are going to afford a place to live. Do you think that um, today's um, demonstration will make an impact with I Mike? do. Now you know what? It will because th uh, these young people are so credible. And because they're so credible and, they hand, and they've handled this with such um, decorum, you might use that word, it will have an impact. When we get the thumbs up from Charles, we will then pick up all of the furniture that is on the side of the road and we will, in an orderly fashion, form up into a line and we will go and line up to try and get into Parliament House through the... Oh, no, we leave it with mine. We want to leave it with mine. Is that all right? Oh, but we're so stuck. Housing is so stressful. Look at us. We don't know where to go. We Can you give him a message? Can you tell him we really need him to do something about housing? That's, that's what we need. We need Mike Med to know that. That's the message. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. We'll be back. Appreciate it. Okay. Back, back that way. We're here today to ask the government for help because so far no other solutions have been put forward. We need the government to take lead and implement a plan that will increase affordable housing, not just for young people, but for all people across New South Wales that are on a low to moderate income. Justin, uh, how did you think uh, today went? Uh, it was really inspiring to be with a whole bunch of people who are passionate about housing affordability. It's such a huge sleeper issue, I think, uh, particularly for this election. But perhaps this might be the catalyst, the start for something, a movement to, you know, to grow.
if, if we can get it out there and people see this going on, you know, we can um, we can get a, a louder voice because that's what we need for change. One of the things I really like about the Alliance and things like this is that, you know, so many of us are struggling with the same things and we often don't talk about them or we just try and fix them for ourselves. But being able to, to be with other people and to turn what is really very difficult personally into something that you can do publicly mm -hmm. um, to try and create change, not just be for other people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I find that really, yeah, really helpful and, yeah. and really positive. That's right. I find that, that um, the Reverend and the Bishop certainly lent the action, this legitimacy that's often missing from other marches. Uh, what have you got to say to Mike Baird or Luke Foley if he gets in? Uh, my uh, request to Mike Baird and to Luke Foley is to use this election campaign to provide some serious solutions to the housing affordability crisis facing Sydney and indeed the rest of New South Wales. Tell me, tell me what, what do you want to tell Mike? Uh, can you help us to have our own home? Are you going to move in with him? Yeah. I can, can, I, can we move with you? Whoever's in government after the state election to understand that housing is a human right, that housing is something that you know, means that you can be safe and, and be well at night um, and that, that the government has a role to play in, in helping people to access that. Um, uh, I want to say to Mike Baird, please let us move in with you because you haven't given us anything else. Help us out. Give us a place to rent. Uh, Luke Foley, I want to congratulate you for suggesting that we should implement a deferred repayment scheme uh, for stamp duty. I think that's a great idea but I don't think it's enough. I think we need to look at a raft of solutions and I think you need to be encouraging your counterparts across party lines to engage in conversation and to help rally bipartisan supports for some mechanisms that will deliver more affordable housing stock. That's awesome. Thanks, thank you. That's, that's cool. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> Thank you.